Cork's Red FM. Last year, what went on, I suppose, is, is history now, and um, like we've we've been working with it since the first of January. We haven't played that many games, so it's because of the frost and everything, and uh, we got fogged off even the other night against Clare. But um, uh, lads are in good condition, good nick, and, and um, you know they're very anxious to get out, really, in Hull and uh, to get back to you know to get back to get back into the into the swing of things, really. We were unlucky, maybe in a way, if we take no chances against Tipperary in the first round. You know, possibly there was enough looking back at it on the day and looking back at it since. Like we had enough chances to to, to finish it off. We can't we can't blame we can't blame anyone for that. If we taken if we taken half the chances, um, but like I suppose it's just maybe a slight change of personnel here and there. And to, for me, new new coming in to see what you know mentally how fellas were and who can stand up to it and whatever. Maybe that would be the one area where where. Um, where we hadn't the time, but saying that in in relation to what we had, you know, we had ample time to prepare, and I think we, you know, we came back against Offaly and won, and uh, I mean the game was there against Galway as well, and you know, you, I I couldn't really use it as an excuse to say that we hadn't enough preparation. We had enough time with what what we had, but I mean, obviously, we've changed things slightly slightly this year on personnel and that, you know. I I suppose you know to get to know the players. You know, to get to know them really, and get to know the nitty gritties, and during the winter, and particularly, you know, and they get to know me as well. Then what's what's required? I mean, that was that was the one area that we didn't have time. Whereas, a, like, it's still very early. We've, as I said, like with the frost and everything there, we only got out in the field, we like, say, two weeks ago. So, um, but at the same time, we were still maybe in in gyms or whatever. And you get to know guys, and 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 I, I go by the old tears. Because if I don't know, if I don't know the players, mm-hmm. and if they don't know me. We can hardly we can hardly go in the same direction. I mean, it's grand to look at a fellow playing and say he's 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 good, better, and different. But uh, as we know, at this level, it's all about a bit of mentality, really, and whether you're whether you're able for it or capable. Well, capable is being one thing. Whether you're able to do it is another thing. You know, it's just, they're absolutely brilliant to train. I mean, it, what what it forces me is to raise my own standards. I mean, we mentioned the bar a while ago, but my own standards in relation to the training and how I think about things and making sure that, that I have everything covered, really, because their standards are high, and um, that maybe forces me to, 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 to be proactive, and um, I think that has helped the whole thing, so our standards have our standards have risen a little bit in that, in that regard. Going back to what I said a while ago about mentality, um, I'm a big believer in it. I mean, you don't have to be absolutely brilliant player to play this into county. Everyone thinks that because they're a brilliant player they can play into county but a lot of them fail because they haven't got the mentality for it. And like mentality covers a lot of things and, and leadership is one of those things, you know. A- any guy that has come in or any guy that has gone out, it, it's down to where, where, where we think they're capable of performing a- at the highest level. That's the only criteria. And anyone that has been left go and anyone that's been brought in, that's the criteria they work by. The existing players know that exactly. The minute they slip from that, well, the chances are they won't be around much longer. But like from what I've seen now, we've we've, we've finalised our panel. From what I've seen is that I'm more than happy with what we have, and it's a case of uh, getting they getting to me, getting to know me a little bit better, and I getting to know them as well. You know. I mean, the situation first of all with with Michael Coston is that like my understanding is totally with the hurling now right and and like he don't forget like he has to go in and crack it now you know I mean it's grand to say he's this or he's that but you know if, if, if he doesn't crack it and if his performances don't crack it well you know he's going to be under pressure um, Owen Cadigan is going to he, he's going he's going to have a cut at uh, playing both as a former dual player myself um, well if I couldn't facilitate that it would be something wrong and um, I'm, I'm more than happy um, ultimately ultimately if performances slip or anything like that well it's decision time and as far as I'm concerned that, is, that decision time will be his decision rather than my decision 25-30 years ago we, we did as much training as anyone else maybe I would say that the big thing is they look after themselves now better in relation to maybe diets and all that kind of hydration and all that kind of stuff and sure if that is a fact then well that means that they should be better able to look after themselves now and better able to, to cope with both now I suppose from a media point of view is that your performances will be scrutinised a bit closer um, but I mean still if you have the character and the mentality to play it I mean as I said you don't have to be the greatest player in the world 
But if you have that, and someone like Owen Cadigan has that, in my opinion, he's obviously not going to be in two places at one time, and he's going to be, you know, like the, the week of a football game, he's going to be more with the footballers than he's with the holders. That's simply the, the way we're going to work it. But, I mean, there isn't, I mean, it isn't as if we're um, sending bloody messages to these guys every second minute in training. I mean, um, that's not that's not the case. I mean, we, we you know, we try and get, get the training done, get them up to a certain peak, and... Um, you know, discuss different things at different times after that, and he he he'll come into that equation. There won't be a problem there. I think that if 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 hurling and football is is top of his priority list, as long as he doesn't have something else that is uh, side tracking him, if he has something else that is side tracking him from those two sports, um, then he's going to come under pressure. But I feel I feel that I, I'm just basing it on the fact that they're 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 his two priorities, and uh, he'll have, I think he'll have ample time to cover to cover both. There there, there might be only once I think actually may, just maybe one sort maybe. Maybe twice in actual fact, but I think they're Saturday night games versus Sunday, so um, you'd still get away with it, even though physically it would be demanding a lot of a guy, but and mentally maybe demanding a lot more. But so there's not too many, you know what I mean? And we, I think we'll work around that, you know. Corks Red FM. Red FM.